Hello, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what to do if your Facebook app on your iPhone is not working. If your Facebook app is working improperly, there are any issues connected with it, then I'm gonna show you five simple solutions to fix it and make sure that after each solution, you just may, uh, check it out if that certain solution has helped. And if it didn't, of course, go to the next one. Or if that problem occurs only occasionally, maybe do all the solutions um, step by step so you can prevent it in the future. The first a very um, common thing is an update. It is important to update your Facebook app because sometimes it just becomes um, outdated and in order to update it, go to the App Store app. Then you can go to the search bar pretty easily and find Facebook. Once you find it, make sure to click on it because even if it says open here, sometimes after you click on the Facebook, it'll say update here. In my case, it is up to date, so I don't have to update it. But if you do, then just click on update and wait a moment until it gets updated. Then check if it works. If it doesn't, let's go to the settings. In the settings, scroll all the way down and find apps. Now let's find the Facebook. I'm just gonna scroll to the F letter and here we can see the Facebook. And you know, each of the apps has different um, <coughs> permissions that it needs to access in order to be able to use everything. Um, I can see that not all of the permissions that are required um, are asked here, and that's because I haven't logged into Facebook. Uh, I've just downloaded it and I'm not logged in, but you should see a bit more. And make sure that the permissions for things that you need to work are enabled. Like for example, if you're about to share your location on your Facebook post, make sure that the location permission on this list is set to while using the app. If you want to set, uh, share a photo from your gallery, make sure that it has access to all your gallery photos. And if you want to take a picture now, make sure it has access to the camera. It is also pretty important for it to have access to the mobile data in case you want to use it not only on the Wi-Fi but also on the mobile data. So just review all the permissions and make sure they are enabled. That will help you make your app work again. If it didn't help, then there is also a very good thing to do, which is restarting your iPhone. Sometimes it it is everything that's required. And in order to do it, just press and hold on two buttons at once, power and either of the volume buttons until it shows this screen. Then slide to power off and wait like after the screen goes off, wait for about 15 seconds, maybe a bit less. And after that, begin by pressing and holding on the power button until you see the Apple logo. Then you can release it. Once it's restarted, just unlock it. And now you can see if your app works. If the app doesn't work still, then um, now let's get to almost the last step, which is reinstalling the app. But before you do that, make sure that you know your login and the password to that account. I know people that have reinstalled their apps and just couldn't log in because they've forgotten the login and the password. So that's very important to check it first. Maybe there is a high chance that it is saved in your passwords app. So on your iPhone, there's a passwords app that you can just open. 
and there you may see it. If you see it, then you don't really need to worry anymore since it'll be saved here all the time and most probably it'll even recommend you to log in automatically with that password saved or just remember the password if you don't have it in the password section. So if we are about to reinstall the app, just first go to the home screen, find that app, press and hold on it and click on remove app, then delete app, delete and go to app store. In the app store, go to search and search for Facebook. Once you found it, just click on that cloud icon and it'll start installing. Once it is installed, it'll appear sometimes in a different place than it was, but of course you can move it somewhere else. And now try reopening that app. If it asks you to log in, try re logging in and see if the problem that you had has disappeared. But the last step that you can do if the other ones didn't help is clear up your storage. Each of the apps needs some free storage on your iPhone to have their own cache data stored on that phone. So if you are running out of storage, maybe uninstall something or delete some data that you just don't need. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how. So that app has place to save their data too. Let's go to general, then go to mm, the iPhone storage. And as you can see, I have quite a few gigabytes. Uh, I have 29 gigabytes left, but if you don't, then see, maybe there is an app that you just don't use. Like for example, as you can see, uh, there are some apps that I haven't used for like a few days, but also there will be some that I haven't used for a few months. And if you are sure, you can just click on that app click on delete app, delete, and that app will be uninstalled. But if you don't want to delete that app's data, you just want to offload it for a moment, like for a week, for a month or whatever, you can select the app, then click on offload. So it will reduce the app size to zero, but the documents and data of that app will stay as they are. Now we can also see that um, the photos take up quite a lot of storage. So if you have unnecessary photos in your gallery, just go into that gallery and m most storage taking are the videos. So you may want to go to the videos, find some replicate videos or just videos of something that you don't really need to have on your phone and you can press and hold on it and click on delete. Or if you ha want to do several ones at, at a time, press on three dots or I need to actually scroll down, then click on select and now select the, fo uh, the photos or videos that you want to delete. Once you delete them, remember that they are not permanently deleted. So if you want to delete them permanently, first make sure that you are really sure that you want to delete them. Once you are, go to recently deleted. I'm not gonna show you that now, but you can go there, then select the photos that you want to permanently delete and delete them now because, you know, it just gives you time to change your mind. And if you delete a photo, it gets moved to recently deleted for a month. And later on, it gets deleted permanently, but you can do it now to free up your storage actually. And then you can check out if you have some more storage. Once you have, your app should be working again. If you still have any issues, Maybe you just need to wait for another update of that app. Maybe it'll be re released in the future and will help you with your specific problem. 
That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.